साउंड इंटेंसिटी अंडरस्टैंडिंग साउंड इंटेंसिटी एट डिफरेंट पॉइंट फ्रॉम ए सोर्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड गेट एक्सेस टू आर हंड्रेड ऑफ कंसेप्चुअल लेक्चर फॉर फ्री फर्स्टली लेट मी टीच यू दैट वट इज साउंड इंटेंसिटी वेल कंसिडर अ सोर्स प्रोड्यूसिंग सम सॉर्ट ऑफ साउंड we know that sound spreads over larger and larger surface area as it moves away from the source now let consider this sheet sound waves or sound energy can hit or pass through this sheet let the area of this sheet is 1 meter squared here i am interested that how much sound energy reach or pass through this 1 meter squared area in 1 second let me repeat it i am interested that how much sound energy reach or pass through this 1 meter squared area in 1 second thus we define sound intensity as sound energy passes through 1 meter squared area in 1 second is called sound intensity let me repeat it sound energy passes through 1 meter squared area in 1 second is called sound intensity sound intensity is denoted by i mathematically we write it i is equal to e upon a into t where e is the sound energy that passes through unit area or 1 meter squared area a and time t is equal to 1 second what about the si unit of sound intensity well we know that the si unit of energy is joule The SI unit of area is meter squared and the SI unit of time is second. So the SI unit of sound intensity is joule per square meter per second. We can also write another equation of sound intensity in terms of power. For example, we know that power is energy or work done per second or P is equal to E upon T. now instead of this e upon t we will plug in this equation as simply the power thus we get i is equal to p upon a we know that the si unit of power is watt and the si unit of area is meter squared so we get to watt per square meter therefore note it down that we have two equations for sound intensity i is equal to e upon a into t or i is equal to p upon a and we have si units like joule per square meter per second or watt per square meter mostly we use this si unit watt per square meter for sound intensity now understanding sound intensity at different points from a source let consider a point source s produces sound we know that sound waves are sound energy spreads in a spherical way in all directions as they move away from the point source now i am interested to find the sound intensity at point x and at point y now sound intensity at point x is i is equal to p upon a and also sound intensity at point y is i is equal to p upon a now listen carefully sound energy or sound waves spread in three dimensional ways spherically we know that the surface area of sphere is 4 pi r squared so the equation of sound intensity at point x can be written as i is equal to p divided by 4 pi r squared also the equation of sound intensity at point y can be written as i is equal to p divided by 4 pi r squared the distance of point x from the source is r and the distance of point y from the source is also r now according to this equation 
intensity is inversely proportional to the square of radius the distance a radius r of the point x from the source is small so the sound intensity will be high at point x while the distance a radius of the point y is large so the sound intensity will be low at point y the moving away from the source means larger radius larger radius means less intensity and vice versa therefore remember that sound intensity at point x is high and sound intensity at point y is low finally let me teach you about different intensity levels the minimum sound intensity or lowest sound intensity human ear can hear or detect is i not is equal to 10 raise to the power negative 12 watt per meter squared secondly the maximum sound intensity or highest sound intensity human ear can hear or detect is i is equal to 1 watt per meter squared thirdly the sound intensity 1000 watt per meter squared can rupture or destroy your ear drums this was all about sound intensity